Darn it. Doing this boomer style. Oh yeah. Actually, the hat kind of goes long. Alright. Let's read this. Data. Miscellaneous revenge note. To whom it may concern, if you are reading this, then I unlikely did. I can only hope that I managed to take out some of those thrice... Those thrice cursed Van Graffs with me. The family deserves... My family deserves that much, at least. Hmm. It's a little scary. Okay, and you know what? We're not we're not going in without a weapon. I don't think they're gonna turn on me, but it's still like a little freaky. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. Okay. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. Always. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Alright. I know that some of you were thinking, oh, we don't have a permanent job now, do we? Nah. Alright. Uh, quests. Birds of a feather. Deliver the package. And by the way, I'm doing this, uh this line of quest for them for two reasons. One, I want the free set reputation. Two, I'm not going to tell you, tell you the other reason yet. It'll become apparent soon. Alright. Let's kill this dude. What a jerk. Alright. And you, okay, there's a lot of them. Heck, man. This is crazy. Waste all my ammo. Great, we're getting 13 rads a second. Great. Just want to pick up as much gecko meat as I can, just in case we ever get in a bad spot. It's always good to eat. Alright, now let's just travel over to there. You look kind of good, actually. Dude, with the caravan shotgun and the outfit... I just wish our shirt was a little more rugged and less, like, well done. And the hat? Dude, you look like a cowboy. Oh, no. Uh, we have a... Yeah, there we go. Freaking awesome. Alright, I see an enemy up ahead. I am noticing a damage difference between our last level and this level, since we upgraded our guns a lot. Ooh, not that powerful of a gun, though. Don't think, yeah. Boom. Headshot. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't think. Oh, crud. You know what? We're gonna switch to a more powerful weapon. Annabelle! No. <laughs> Gonna go 9 millimeter pistol. We have more ammo for it, too. And you know me, I love conserving ammo. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we look awesome. I just wish we could turn around to see our face, but we still look awesome. Alright. I love the music in this game. It's got a sad, like, note to it, but it's also very, just... Wasteland. I mean, that's really what it is. Wild waste. Dude, we even got the... Belt to hold our gun on and everything. Man, we look like a cowboy. <laughs> that must be our guy. 
Alright. I'm coming. Hello. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? I am. Do you have what we requested? It's right here. Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Alright, let's do it. Now I could have asked him, like, well, like, who are you, all those things. But the Van Graaff should probably set up some sort of no-question policy. Since this is probably some shady dealings. Okay. Friggin' Dixon. The jerk. Yay! Hey, you're the one who's... 13 battle caps. See what I mean? It's, it's not like spe super special, but it's not bad either. Alright. <laughs> oh, this quest line is so fun. And don't worry, we will eventually deal with the kings. I'm just putting it off for now. Because I still haven't decided stuff, some things. To sell, people. Only hey. Hey, pal. Hi. I'm not even. I've never even Hungry? met the kings. Thirsty? Horny? The atomic wrangler has you so dank. Blah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas's best. Cool, we just get to go on in. Awesome. A little scary how they all drew their weapons. Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? Uh, I delivered the packages as requested. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? He'd said you'd hear from them soon. Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh, Jean Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Hello. Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? Absolutely. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. Probably. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Who's this girl? Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her. One on one. Do you know where she is? Fuck no. If I knew where this bitch was, you think I'd be asking you? Still, there's someone who might. Old Alice McLafferty. Crimson Caravan might know something. She keeps tabs on caravan traffic in the Mojave. Wouldn't put it past her to keep track of Cassidy Caravans and its owner. Why don't you do it? I got business here. Need to watch the shop, make sure things are running smoothly. Besides, if I came for the girl, I'm not all friendly and charming like you are. She might get the wrong idea. Anything you can say to her, you can say to me. You don't want us chatting, trust me. As for the girl, I just want to talk to her. And if you can't bring her here, then you're no use to me or Gloria. So if you want to cause trouble in here over nothing, then go on. Try. I'll do it. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. Alright, let's go find this girl. Well, first I guess we have to go to the Crimson Caravan Company so that we can, uh, figure out where the heck she is. Heard some noises before we ended there. I'm wondering if we're, un if we were under attack. Alright. Awesome. Yeah, we look awesome. Now, I know where she is. But you don't know where she is, so I'm gonna walk you guys to the steps. What is that? Whiskey. Look, 
McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. All right, McLafferty. Welcome back. I'm looking for Cass. The Van Graffs told me to check in with you. Coincidentally, I'm also looking for her. I've got a business offer she'd be interested in. I believe Cass frequents the Mojave Outpost far south of here, near the California border. All right, goodbye. It's been a pleasure. All right. Oops. Hey. Now, let's head all the way down here. We haven't been here in a long time. All right. And let's find this Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Heck of a name, man. Only only way I can see it is that her mom's name was Sharon Cassidy. And so, so when she was born, her mother obviously loved her, and so she was the Rose of Sharon Cassidy. You know? It's like saying that someone's the apple of your eye, you know? That's just my guess. I, it's just speculation. There's no fact the behind that. The are on their way from Baja. Never seen one before, but I heard they chew nails and spit napalm. Looking for trouble? Uh, no, only looking around. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. Are you alright? Alright? No, I'm not alright. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. What are you trying to forget? Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned.